Hello friends, welcome back to Science Land. Today I'm going to talk about the manufacture of cultured buttermilk. So, what is buttermilk? Buttermilk is phospholipid rich fluid which is obtained during churning of cream in butter manufacture. So, that is the normal buttermilk. But here we are culturing the buttermilk. Cultured buttermilk have, you know, specific aroma and flavor to it. Cultured buttermilk is obtained from pasteurized skim milk or part skim milk. Second, what kind of organisms are used to produce a cultured buttermilk or what is the culture? The culture used for manufacture of cultured buttermilk are Streptococcus lactis and or Streptococcus cremoris. We have Streptococcus lactis subspecies Diacetylactis and Leuconostoc cremoris. So while you mention the manufacture of cultured buttermilk, the culture which is used is very important to mention. Now I already mentioned that cultured buttermilk have a specific flavor and aroma to it. So this flavor is given by certain compounds. zero point two zero to two five percent of sodium citrate or citric acid and salt etc which are added during the process so we'll start with the manufacture of cultured buttermilk in the form of flow sheet the first step is to standardize milk So you always standardize whatever milk you're obtaining from the source. 10% of milk solid not fat. Uh, what is milk MSNF? It's apart from your fat, whatever components like lactose, casein, minerals, whey proteins, etc. So that is milk solid not fat. 0.5% of milk fat. After standardization, heat treatment is given. Heat treatment is given depending on what temperature you choose. If you are choosing 85 degree, it's for 30 minutes. 88 to 91 degree Celsius for 2.5 to 5 minutes. Obviously, heat treatment is given to kill the bacteria and other microbial contamination. Next step is homogenize the milk at 2000 PSI. The milk after homogenization is let into ripening tank where fermentation takes place. But for the fermentation, you need the culture. So 1% of the culture or the frozen culture is let into the ripening tank. So the fermentation is carried out at a particular temperature, pH and for particular period. 22 degrees Celsius for 14 to 16 hours and the pH needs to be maintained at 4.5. Fermentation will be completed in 16 hours. Next step, you after the fermentation, you have a product which is buttermilk. After the product is made, there are two steps. So we have the cultured buttermilk in our hand. We add the butter flakes and the salt, blend it properly 
and cool it from 22 degrees Celsius to 5 degree and package it. Further, it is stored for three to four weeks. So that is one step. Now why butter flakes are added uh, to 0.5% of the milk fat is very less. So to compromise on the fat content of the buttermilk, butter flakes are added or if you don't have the butter flakes, the butter is sprayed on the buttermilk. The second step is if it is not directly packed and transported for public usage, it is spray dried and then used for bakery products. That is the manufacture of cultured buttermilk. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do share and subscribe. Bye-bye.